Get to the top, get to the top. You're gonna get to the roof once this motor strikes over. Do some jumping through stuff and don't get sniped, okay? Yo, 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 what's up guys? Joey here, hope all is well. Welcome back to another build. Today we're gonna be building a mini ITX build using an RTX 4060. So this build's gonna be super, super tiny, but it's gonna pack a lot of power. I'm really stoked for this build here today because I will be hanging on to it. It's so small that I can literally throw it into any backpack and take it anywhere. It's a completely portable little desktop. I'm also planning on putting it in my car and gaming on it. Just because it's so small, you can do anything with it. So let's see what videos we produce with this little build in the future. But anyways, guys, this build's gonna have a lot of power it's going to be using the newly released rtx 4060 and this version of the card is a single fan i'm going to get it open for you guys already take a look at just how tiny it is so here's a little size comparison we have my hand and this thing literally just fits in the palm of my hand single fan still has a lot of ports three display ports one hdmi powered by a pins of power so yeah this little thing right here is gonna pack a punch 300 bucks it's gonna pump out a lot of frames i want to play warzone 2 and apex on it other games as well but warzone 2 is the one i'm like really concentrated on and that thing is demanding right with warzone 2 if you use a cpu that's not so powerful it will bottleneck a card like the 4060 like it won't be at 99 percent utilization i definitely want to get all the power out of this 4060 and that is why we're pairing it with a super popular gaming cpu the ryzen 7 5800x 3d this is a super popular cpu for gaming because it has more cash this cpu is amazing for gaming i've paired beefy cards in the past with this cpu and it makes them run at 99 percent utilization in like every game i just love amd's 3d cpus they're so good for gaming so that's what we're going to stick in this super small form factor and we're only going to be using this super low profile noctua heatsink hopefully this keeps our 5800x 3d nice and cool because honestly i do not know what performance to expect the cpu does get a bit toasty but i'm confident that this will keep it cool and that it won't blow up I'm very confident about that but we will find out so anyways guys let's take a little pause if you guys are interested in seeing me do a video of where i actually set up this super small pc in the car and game while driving go ahead and let me know i'm really thinking about doing that video it sounds dope so we're gonna go over the rest of the parts and then we're finally gonna put it together and then at the very end we will be playing games on it a lot of them to see just how well it performs and how the temps are on our super super small rtx 4060 build with the mini itx form factor all right guys so for the motherboard this board is not expensive at all for what it gives you mini itx boards tend to be more expensive but not this one it's not rocking the best chipset it has the a520 chipset but that's okay because i'm not planning on overclocking or anything also it does have built-in wi-fi so that's cool and i'll go ahead and see if it supports our amd 3d cpu right out of the box but if it doesn't all i have to do is a bios update and then it will support it but yeah let's get this little guy out look how tiny see how small this thing is my hand is bigger than this board the mini itx form factor motherboards are so tiny it only has one pci slot two ram slots so I'll set this right here and here's the wi-fi antenna it comes with pretty beefy one i'll get my io shield out the fire storage just a simple wd blue one terabyte drive for now i'll probably throw in a bigger one later for the ram we throw 16 gigabytes of ram in like a lot of the build guides that we do on the channel but for this little build since it only has two slots i'm gonna go ahead and go with 32 already 32 gigs at 3600 megahertz plenty of ram for content creation on this little build and gaming and what's going to give us all the juice this little flex power supply it was the beefiest one i could find 600 watts will be just enough and it's platinum rated very efficient little power supply let me show you how tiny this thing is all right here it is guys look at this this is it. It's so small. You know what? This is like the size of the Xbox 360 power brick back in the day. In fact, I think the 360 power brick was bigger. Oh man, this is funny. These are called ATX Flex power supplies. And finally, the last part, a little case. This case comes in white and black and silver. We picked up the white colorway. Look at this little thing, guys. You ready for this? Look how tiny. That's it. The tiniest little case ever. Look how dope this is going to be. All this power, a beefy 3D AMD CPU, an RTX 4060 in this little thing. Everything will be in here. This system's going to be dope, man. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I can take this, for example, say I'm traveling. I'm anywhere with fam or in a hotel room, right? I just hook this up, give it a bit of power, got my little mouse and keyboard, and then I hook up a portable monitor that, you know, they sell super thin portable monitors. I'll hook that up. Easy. Game, edit, whatever you want to do. It's a lot of power. 
and of course the experience would be more enjoyable than on a laptop with this mini little desktop. It's awesome. Beautiful case. The case also tries to have as much airflow as possible, right? There's little cutouts everywhere. So the case also comes included with a PCI extension. So this hooks up to the PCI slot on your motherboard and then it allows the graphics card to sit somewhere else in the case still connected to the motherboard. Little ribbing. That's what this is. All right, guys. Well, super excited to build this system. Let's see how this comes out and then we're going to put it to the test. Let's do it. In the room, but my baby, you still shine. Your friends with the homies ain't leaving you lonely. Yes, baby, you all mine. I know some drinks on the way. You keep it fresh. You got the new ever. Won't take you home, take you back to my pueblo. For your compuelo, stay to the moon. All right, guys, we made it work. The cable management was a bit of a challenge, but as you can see, it all looks good. It's honestly a shame it took me this long to build another mini ITX build. The last mini ITX build I did, guys, honestly, that's like my second video. The second build I ever did on YouTube. I believe it was with a GTX 1070. That's crazy. Time flies. And there's our finished product, guys. Beautiful little system. How tiny it is. Oh, it's so awesome. Look at the weight. Nice little weight to it. This thing is so sick, guys. Also, we, we put this together like so fast. I timed it. Look at my watch. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Literally took us exactly an hour to put this system together. It takes you an hour to put together this simple little build. Those are the cables, you know? Not a lot of cables going on. Woo! We did it! Mini ITX build with a 4060. Beast right here. Here's the ports in the back. All right, guys. Guys, I'm gonna install Windows 11 on here, the drivers and the games, and then we're gonna frag it up. Let's do it. Settings for Halo Infinite, 90 FOV, 1080p resolution. Here are the graphics settings, medium preset, and the rest of the settings. Let's do it. Slayer against us. They don't stand a chance. That was close. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get the oh, shot. from behind, from behind. Hit him a lot. The team is coming, his team is coming. I got him, I got him with the name. Where is he? He's one shot, he's one shot, bro. Get the camo if you want. Hit him a Nice. I died so fast. I'm going a lot. Hit a lot, hit a lot. Or both one shot. Oh, he didn't even get it. What a dummy. Huh. All right, guys. Well, performance for Halo Infinite was great. Obviously, the RTX 4060 was at 99% utilization the whole time because of the Ryzen 3D. Performance is still really good. Okay. Next, let's check out Warzone. Settings for Call of Duty Warzone 2 1080p resolution. Here's the quality settings and the view. 120 FOV. Let's do it. All right, this is gonna be nothing short of epic. We're about to get most wanted on the on the crazy building. No shield. Behind, behind, behind. He ran up. We're in front of me, bro. In front of me. Bruh. Yeah. On me too. You're jumping down. Good kill, dead. The right sort of saved me. Get to the top. Get to the top. Nice. Get to the roof. Watch out, watch out, motor strike. Get under, get under, get it. All right, we're gonna get to the roof once this motor strike's over. If follow me, we need to do some jumping through stuff and don't get sniped, okay? Hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna stun him. I stunned him. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Please get that kill. Dead. I got self res. Oh, he's on the roof, he's on the roof. I'm putting shots. My bad. He's on me, Run away, run away. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Run away. All right, I'm landing. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
Dead. I'm getting into zone. Dead. I got them both. That was beautiful, man. Good job. I have twenty-four thousand dollars. We need to buy just UAVs for both of us. Cards in zone. Buy a UAV. Pop it right, right in front of us. He's probably gonna go up the stairs. He's right here. Oh, we pulled zone. I'm gonna go up. Nice job. Good job. All right, guys. Call of Duty Warzone performs good. Now, our Ryzen 7 is being throttled. As you can see, it's stuck at 91C. The megahertz should be going higher. So it's throttling the megahertz to keep the temperature from not going higher. That tends to happen when you build PCs that are really, really small. Everything's tight together. Like laptops, right? Gaming laptops, they're always throttling for the most part. But it's okay. The system still performing really well. Next game. Settings we're using for Fortnite. Full screen, 1080p. V-Sync is off. We're playing on performance mode. And here are the rest of the settings. Oh my goodness. Bruh. I didn't get the win, but the PC is super good. I got 11 kills, second place. It's pretty good for this tiny little computer. It performs really amazing. On to the next game. Settings for Valorant, 1080p resolution, NVIDIA reflex on on plus boost here, the graphics quality. Let's do it. Guys, everyone over here, come on, man. You're leaving your, you're leaving your boy hanging. Bruh. Oh, nice. Nice flat. Watch your eyes. Bruh. Oh my goodness, what are they doing? What does this mean? What is happening? What just happened? Huh? <laughs> nice. Watch this, watch this, no scope. No scope. Dude, what are all these abilities, man? Headshot. He's gonna try to go B. Can't, they can't see it coming. Oh! 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 Huh? Let's go. All right, Valorant performance was amazing. No surprise there. Next game. Settings for Apex Legends. 1080p resolution, 110 FOV, reflexes on enabled plus boost. Here are the rest of the settings. Let's do it. Another one. Squad. <laughs> oh yeah, you ready to win, dude? Oh, time is up. There's a guy underneath right there. Nice job. <laughs> settings for Rainbow Six Siege. 1080p resolution. Max FOV set to 90. Here are the graphics settings. Let's do it. No, I'm sh Let's convert it back inside with this 
Oh no, he got me, guys. No, sorry. Oh, he's on stairs, he's on stairs, it's Oryx. Yo, GG. Ah, here we go again. Hi, how are you? Can I help you? Uh, Ruin it. I was already mid lunge. I've never used the, the Peruvian operators. Uh, the supernova? Dude, it's fucking slimes. Especially if you Mario Rush. Oh, yeah, nice. The, the supernova is really good, dude. Watch this ace. Bruh. Wow, you guys lied to me. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would he jump in front of that? <laughs> oh! Whoa! Sam Yo. Fisher! Whoa, Sam oh Fisher! Whoa, that's awesome, dude! <laughs> Yo, that looks cool! Alright, guys, that's a wrap. This PC is sick. I plan to do future videos with it. Thanks for watching and hanging out. I appreciate all you guys' support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!